hi guys welcome back to beauty with todd thanks for coming back to my channel so here i have another braid video for you guys and this style was taken from these passion twists um, if you haven't seen this video go click the link down below to check out these rope twists um, and i just used the same pattern um, parting space that i had so i'm just showing you guys how you can go from one style to the next well at least that's what i did um this video i was kind of struggling because i had on nails and i was trying to keep on my nails because i was doing another nail video so yeah bear with me with these nails and just enjoy the video okay so here this is what my hair is looking like y'all i took the braids out like two days before this right here and then i even put it like in a ponytail and put some clippings on top so i'm just trying to take that off but yeah it looks really bad i didn't slap so much edge control slap on it everything um i didn't do my hair as soon as i thought i was i was supposed to do it like the next day but i waited like two days later so this is the braiding hair that i'm using y'all this braiding hair is bomb if y'all had this in y'all hair store get it it's in 60 inches and it already comes um pre-stretched so i will be using i started off using this unique edge control and then i went into using um main choice edge control because it just it smells better i like that smell so i don't know what happened to that first braid but i'm just taking out my twist that i originally had trying to go over my part a little bit more and then adding the edge control and then i'm adding some gel on my edges so here i'm just adding the edge control and then i go on top of it with um this bomb goo get gel well i cannot talk <laughs> but yeah and then i'll go ahead and separate the hair and you want to start off like a plait like with no hair and then when you come back around that's when you want to go ahead and add in the braiding hair and then i'm just doing it like this it's kind of hard to explain y'all clearly i'm not a good teacher because I cannot explain the stuff that I be doing, but I'm just doing a feeding method. I'm trying to imagine and picture myself doing corn rolls, and that's how I'm adding in the hair for the feeding method. So I'm going to explain it a little bit better and kind of slow it down um, in a minute on another section of this video, but that's how I did it. I just kept taking it loose like a twist I already had parted, added some edge control, added some... Um, gel around my edges and then did a plait and then added the hair as if i was doing cornrows um i love that she's bomb glue um because my edges was like that for like three days and y'all clearly see i haven't washed my hair and i'm like adding so much product on top of product so um i'm just adding hair in now here you see me doing the plait like two times and then i add the hair but no, you want to just plait it once and then add in the hair. So I take that section. Well, I did it like completely different in the middle. This way works too. It's easier if you just add the hair in like one piece at a time. But I'm going to show you guys again. And then when I do get at my ends, I just add some gel or some jam so I can make sure they're tied in. Yeah, it was a struggle braiding with these nails on. Like, I'm confused how y'all keep y'all nails on and do stuff. So I'm going to do like a more simple, shorter set um, on my nails. I'm not going to do them like really long because y'all was struggling and then i'll leave these two nail videos down below this video um using acrylic and gel polish and then another one where i was just using a gel polish um which is just like an update to this nail um little set here so here as you can see like i said i'm like braiding the hair doing like two plus and then i add in the braiding hair and when you see me like wrapping it around my front my finger that's because i'm trying to get closer to my roots so that i can have the braid neater but y'all it was really really hard braiding with these nails on i can't believe i kept them on but i did so again like i said the only way that helped me trying to do these feet in is for me to picture i was corn rolling my hair that's how i was able to do it because i tried like two three times before i actually got started and I didn't think I was going to be able to finish because I couldn't figure out how people was attaching the hair to do these knotless braids. But now I see and now I know. And I have another video of me doing my homegirl knotless braids. So I'm going to um, edit that and put that up soon. And I'll leave that in the description box 
down below as well. Um, and I did like the tuck method because she has red hair. So everything is done at the top. So here I'm like in the middle and I have done the back. As you can see, it's not as tight because my nails, but also when you do the knotless braids, it's not a lot of tension because you're starting off with your hair. So if you don't like a lot of tension with your hair, knotless braids will be perfect for you because it's, it's like less tension and in the back it was a little harder to kind of like do the back of my hair because I was doing the back it's like just adding the hair so like I said just keep in mind that you're corn rolling and doing the feeding method and then you'll get it so yeah and another note like I said is to do like one plait and then add the braiding hair don't plait the hair twice see how I did one two and then I'm adding the hair, just do it once and make it a lot easier. But I didn't realize that until I was doing my friend's hair. And then I pull it around my finger so I can get it tighter. Wrap around and then I take that braid of hair. It's easy if you kind of twist it and then it'll go under your fingers a little easier. And then I'm braiding again and then I add some more braiding hair. But what you want to do is add that braiding hair back to back. I added two small pieces of braiding hair back to back. And right here is like the next day and I have like this face mask on my face because I'm trying out different products to add to my line. So that's, I'm doing a mask. So don't be looking at my face. <laughs> and I'm adding some hair cream in between. Make sure my hair stay moisturized. This is about how much hair I have and I just split it into two and then um add the two pieces in and if you want your braids thicker or bigger you can definitely add more hair but that's not the look that i was going for i was just going for like a real cute little natural um box braid look but um yeah let me know what you guys think about this video um the parts aren't as straight but it's okay because it's more of a like a natural look and yes i still have my two locks on the side y'all always ask about them <laughs> they're not going anywhere and i'm taking some of my hair growth oil and just putting it all throughout my scalp and that's it i thought i was done braiding all the ends but i still had like one braid that i hadn't plaited yet but um yeah so let me know what y'all think about this style going from one style to the next i don't keep my braids in long but i'm sure if you have your braids in for like a month or two you want to make sure you wash your hair but mine was only like a week so now i'm adding these hair accessories which is the hoops and the um the little clips y'all them hoops had me feeling myself i love them hoops i even put one on my locks and when i had wore it up in like this bun here and had my two sides down it looks so good i'm gonna even try it with like one of my wigs because i really like that look it was really cute and i got a lot of compliments so yeah this and plus y'all use um five packs of hair and this took me like eight nine hours it took me a long time because again like i said i have on these nails um it would have took less time because my hair was already sectioned off but i had on these nails so i was struggling but i just want to show you guys how i went from one style to the next and the struggle of me trying to braid my hair with these nails oh yeah and right here this is after the club so y'all i look ooh, like you know i've been partying and i have been all right bye <laughs>